Good morning, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Jody and I'm a landscape photographer based in West Sussex in the UK. Well, we're in the van and it's dark outside, which for my channel generally means that I'm out for sunrise. I did have to get up at half past two this morning, so I probably look pretty tired. And it's currently just after 5 a.m. So this morning we're gonna be at a location called Knowlton Church and Earthworks, which is an old 12th century church there's a lot of history around it. Obviously it's a ruin now because it's so old and apparently it symbolizes the transition between pagan worship to Christian worship. I don't know a huge amount more than that, but I'm looking forward to checking out the location. The weather forecast this morning is very, very 50-50. There is some good high cloud around at the moment, no low cloud, but there is a lot of clouds still out to the east and right out to Belgium. So it's got potential, still pitch black outside, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm looking forward to finding out. So I'll come back to you guys in a short while when I'm out in the, uh, in the field and getting ready to set up. Right guys, so I've got all set up. Composition is set. I've walked around the church to try and figure out what the best composition will be. And that's something I always do when I go to any location is just spend five minutes walking around the location to try and figure out what the best composition will be. The last thing you want to do is shoot somewhere, just turn up to a location, set your camera up, shoot there. And then when all the light is, is on the scene and the sun has risen, you realise that there's a better composition. So always walk around the scene, try and figure out what the best composition will be. Right now, it is about 20 to six, so still about half an hour or 40 minutes till the sunrise happens. There's a lot of cloud in the sky and I do think that there could be a little bit of colour, but I certainly don't want to jinx myself, so I'm not going to go on about it too much. I'm not expecting too much of the actual sun to appear today because there's quite a lot of high cloud and medium cloud around and I think it's quite dense so not sure that the actual sun's going to make an appearance but hopefully we might get a bit of colour in the sky. Anyway let's get on with it. Okay guys so the light is starting to come now so we can start to see a little bit more about the scene and what our composition should be but I'm doing what I always do which is shooting a few longer exposures on the Canon R5 just to make sure that the composition is correct and obviously cameras can see a, a lot more light than what we can especially when they go into these longer exposures and therefore if there's anything that I can't see in the natural light the camera's going to pick it up and I'll be able to see in that composition. I'm going to be shooting with it 24 to 70 today on the as I say the Canon R5 and I think that's the right lens to use here it gives you quite a lot of options you can shoot fairly wide and you can also zoom in on the church which is nice. We are getting a bit of colour in the sky now Again, I don't want to go on about it too much because in my last video, in the furl video, uh, as soon as I started mentioning the colour in the sky, it just burnt out. So I'm not going to mention too much about the colour and we're just going to see how it builds. But everything's looking good. Really, really nice location. It's a Monday morning, so I'm expecting to have the location to myself. So far, no one else has turned up. And yeah, it's looking good. We'll see how we get on. Right, guys, so the light's kicking off a little bit. So I think we're going to get something quite nice this morning. Uh, so I wasn't going to say anything because I didn't want to jinx myself, but I think now we're in the safe zone that something's going to happen. So I think we can get something nice today. What I've done is I've moved over to the left a little bit just because now I'm getting more light on the scene. I really want to make sure that I get a little bit more of the side of the church so that you can kind of see a bit more of this kind of detail and ruins of what the church looked like. I've also dropped down a little bit on the sort of side of this kind of hill fort verge i think that's what you call it but essentially i've moved my main camera down a little bit because you've got the trees that you can see here which is a lovely balance for the for the church when we're in at sort of 45 50 mil but behind the church that you can't actually see now is another small group of trees and i don't really want them to be behind the church in the actual image so i've moved over a little bit dropped a little bit down and now I think that we've got the composition that we, we came for. So, let's really pray that I haven't jinxed myself with that light, but it's looking good. 
I'm going to get out of the way now so that I can uh, show you what the footage looks like on the camera so that the camera isn't trying to expose for me, it's going to expose for that sky and you'll be able to see it. So what happens guys, as soon as I start mentioning the colour, it starts to drain out of the sky a little bit. When am I going to learn to just keep my mouth shut? The wind is really picking up now. It was forecast, so it's not a surprise to me, but it's still not too, not too windy. So I'll just keep an eye on it, see how we get on. And I might try and send the drone up if I can, just to give you that aerial perspective of where we're shooting and what the landscape around here looks like. Still pretty confident that we're going to get something nice, despite you know, some of that color falling out the sky. I know you can't really see it at the moment because the, the camera's you know, exposing for me and trying to make sure that you guys can see me on screen which means that the sky's blown out, but there is still something there. It's still a fair amount of color in the sky. It's just not quite as good as what, as what it was earlier. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on, come back to you in a minute. Right guys, it's just after half past six now, so the sun has risen. Didn't get as much color in the sky as I was hoping, but you know, we, we still got some nice things. I would have shown you the drone footage now. Hopefully that came out all right as well. It's got a bit windy, so I brought the drone down. I wanted it to be safe. What I've done now is I've just changed the aperture on my camera and I've taken it right up to F14. The reason I'm doing that is the sun is now getting over the kind of hazy cloud that is in on out to the east on the horizon and uh, on certain types of lenses and the 24 to 70 RF lens, the what's called the blade setup inside the uh, and the elements inside the lens, if there's certain there is certain characteristics around the way that they're set up, you can produce really nice sun stars. You can't do it on all lenses, but on this one you can. So I'm just going to take a couple of images now because the sun has just come up over that bank of cloud, and if I get any nice images with a nice sun star, I'll show you now. So I think we might have got a small sun star, but nothing fantastic. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head over to the other side of the church because the light will start hitting the church and hopefully they will get some nice golden colors on that church. So I'm just gonna shoot over there and I'll pick up the video there. I hope you've enjoyed this little look around of the inside of these church ruins here. Probably a little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be actually, but I guess in the 12th century they didn't build big things as quite as big as what they do now. But it's really nice to be able to get in amongst the, uh, the ruins here and just have a look around. Not all places when you've got something as sort of ancient and as special interest as this that you can get this close. So it's really nice that you can get in here and have a look around. Probably going to head back now up to the mound, maybe take one or two more photos and then probably start thinking about packing up. 
Okay guys, so I think we've exhausted the nice light now and the sun's getting that much higher in the sky that what's gonna happen is everything's gonna become too harsh, too bright, too contrasty for nice photography. So we are gonna end the video now, but before I go, I wanna say a special thanks to everybody that subscribes to the channel so far. Really appreciate you being part of this journey and I hope by me continue to make videos just like this one that the numbers continue to grow so that we can start building and building the channel as we go. So really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Drop a like if you've enjoyed it and if you aren't already a subscriber then please consider subscribing. Thanks again, see you on the next one.